point is an exact location. In geometry, a point is shown as a dot. A point has no exact length, breadth and thickness. It has no size or shape. It is generally used to locate an exact position. A point is named by using a capital letter. Here, the three points are named A, B and C. A group of points can be collinear or non-collinear. When three or more than three points lie on a same line, they are called collinear points. Here, points P, Q and R are collinear points. But when three or more than three points are not on a same line, they are called non-collinear points. Here, the five points D, E, A, B and F do not lie on the same line. Hence, the points are non-collinear. A line is a set of points joined along a straight path. It has no ends and extends endlessly in opposite directions. Thus, arrow marks are drawn on both sides to show that it never ends. A line cannot be measured. The given line can be read as line AB or as line BA. It can be written as AB or BA with a double-headed line over it. So, let's say this point is point A and the other end is point B. Now, let us take these two points and join them along a straight path. The straight path drawn to join two points is called a line segment. It has two end points and a fixed length which can be measured. We can even say that a line segment is a part of a line which has a fixed length. The given line segment can be read as line segment AB or BA. It can be written as segment AB or segment BA. A line segment which extends endlessly in one direction is called a ray. Have you noticed the rays of the sun? They start from the light source, which is the sun, and go on endlessly in one direction. A ray has only one end point and does not have a fixed length. Hence, it cannot be measured. The above ray can be read as ray AB. It cannot be read as ray BA. The first letter should be the end point letter. It is called its initial point. It can be written as ray AB. We can measure line segments using a ruler. First, let us start with small lengths. Let us measure this line segment AB using a ruler. Here, we will use a centimeter scale as a ruler. Place the zero mark of the ruler along one end of the line segment, that is point A. The marking on the ruler at which the line ends, that is the marking at point B, gives us the measure of the line segment. Here, the line segment AB measures 8 cm. We can even measure a line segment using a divider. Consider this line PQ. Place the pointed ends of each arm of the divider on the ends of the line segment. Lift the divider carefully from the top without moving its arms and place it on the ruler with one end of the divider on the zero mark. The marking on the ruler where the other arm of the divider points to is the measure of the line segment. Here, the line segment PQ measures 4 cm. Now I will tell you how to draw a line segment of any given measure. Say, we need to draw a line segment of 6 cm. Follow these steps. Place the ruler on the paper and mark a point against 0 cm. Name the point as A. Count from 0 cm 
till 6 cm and mark a point B at 6. Hold the scale firmly and join a straight line segment to join points A and B. Following the above steps, we can draw a line segment of any given measure. Now, let us get a little more complex. Let us see how to draw a line segment measuring 8.4 cm. Look at the ruler closely. The ruler has markings in centimeters. Each centimeter is divided into 10 smaller divisions. Each small division is equal to 1 millimeter. So, 1 centimeter equals 10 millimeter. 8.4 centimeter is 8 centimeter and 4 millimeters. First mark point C against 0 centimeter. Count up to 8 centimeter on the ruler to show 8 centimeter and count ahead 4 small divisions after 8 to show 8.4 centimeter. Mark the point and name it as point D. So, the line segment CD measures 8.4 centimeter.